So we're going to give you the rundown of JMU's roster first. In jersey number one, we have Harper, okay. number two, Robinson, okay. number three, Winkowski. I definitely butchered that, I'm so sorry. Number four, Newman, number five, Scully, number six, Morrissey, seven, Velasquez, nine, Going, ten, Ryder, twelve, Snyder, thirteen, Smith, fifteen, Heimelreich, seventeen, Kossaboon, 20, Ryder Push, and in goal, Chiaffi. Okay! Okay! Now we have the University of Virginia. Number one, Holt. Number two, Ryan. Number four, Maloney. Seven, Choi. 23, Bradley. 12, Pfizer. 14, Ake. 15, Lagazi. 16, Collinsworth. 17, Kennedy, 19, Kraft, 20, Hunter, 54, Cadillo, and in goal, Hildebrand. We just want to also thank our sponsors for the tournament. We have Nando's, Pain and Game Sports, Penn Monto, Caro, and Active for Alley. Good luck to both teams out there, and have a good final game. And we welcome you to the 25th annual NFHL Spring Championship in memory of Allie Rose Zambito. We greet you on this Sunday, April the 21st, 2024 from the Virginia Beach Regional Training Center. I'm Matthew Hatfield. Our broadcast today is being streamed on the NFHL YouTube page and all over the web, including on Cova Sports, Cova Sports YouTube channel, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and we thank you all for tuning in for this matchup featuring the University of Virginia in the orange, taking on James Madison University in the purple. We'll go through some of the rosters you might have heard just a moment ago. Our public address announcer giving you the last names of these teams. And today's matchup in the 2024 NFHL Spring Championship is presented by Virginia Beach Live the Life. Now these teams got here. It's been a Fun week of action here at the training center in Virginia Beach. A little different weather today than the last couple of days all across the Tidewater area of Virginia. You see JMU in the white uniforms with the purple and gold trim. About four minutes and change away from getting this one underway here in the championship round. And there will be two 20-minute halves to decide the victor. Last year in the NFHL Spring Championships, it was... The title won by Florida International as they took home the crown to win the edition of this event. And you see right there on your screen the champion circle. Some of the sponsors that make this all possible for us to bring this broadcast today. And we'll tell you more about Ali as we move along as well as they're competing in her memory today. And for all your information, just go to nationalfieldhockeyleague.com you can see the whole bracket the pools you had pool a b c d e f g h that consists of approximately as i count them up here i want to say it was about 40 or so teams might be a little bit off on that exact count but 
Playoffs featuring 14 teams advancing, first place teams from each pool advancing, eight total. And here we are with 20 minute halves again, a five minute halftime. OT, there's no timeouts. And then the playoff overtime format features shootout, best of five, and a sudden victory to decide who's the champion if it gets to that point here. And quarterfinal and semifinal games taking place earlier today at the training center in Virginia Beach. So, uh, Myriad of schools competing in this event. And to tell you how they got here, some of the competition they had to navigate to reach this point of the NFHL championship, as well as the names of note for these two teams here momentarily. Rainy day, so these athletes have had to brave the elements. And if you want to see the entire bracket of who did what, you can get the Turning Machine app and you can see all the teams got to this stage of the event. University of Virginia sitting in at 4-0 and coming into today's play as they won on Friday over George Mason 4 to nothing and UMass Lowell 5-0 before blanking Texas 2-0 and Stony Brook 6 to nothing. And then in terms of their opponent today, JMU, how they got here, James Madison, a 6 nothing win over William & Mary, 3 nothing over Salisbury, 6 nothing over Rutgers and 4 nothing over Washington U on Saturday. Before we get underway, we'll take a quick time out and hear from a couple of our sponsors and be back with the start of this NFHL championship from the Regional Training Center at Virginia Beach. Stay tuned. Pain and Gain, your one-stop shop for all things field hockey. Located in Princess One Shopping Center, Virginia Beach, we carry everything you need on the turf, from black sticks, turf shoes, mouth guards, and much more. Try out your stick before you buy in our synthetic turf area. Pain and Gain. Embrace the pain, enjoy the game. And we're about ready for the action here from the Rainy Training Center in Virginia, Rainy, Rainy Regional Training Center in Virginia Beach. And it's going to be James Madison to get things started off. Let's give you their rundown of names in this matchup uh, in numerical order for them. You have number one, Libby. Harper, number two, Lindsay Robinson, Mackenzie Wankowitz wearing number three, Ella Newman is number four, Sydney Scully, number five, Emily Morrissey, number six, Kyra Vlasis, number seven, Hermione Going is wearing number nine for JMU, Calipi Reeder, number 10, 12 is Emily Snyder, 13, Olivia Smith, four, uh, 15 is Emily Kimmelowicz, 17 is Megan Kasaboon, Wilson, Ritterpush, wearing 20, and the goalkeeper, Peyton Siafi. Give me the UVA roster here in just a moment, as you see right there. Newman was tangled up for a moment with one of the UVA players, as now the Cavaliers have it, looking to get it away from Scully. As you mentioned, Virginia and James Madison really playing some terrific hockey to get to this stage of the NFHL championships. Now, JMU and the white unis, if you're just tuning in, working it from right to left, near side. Good find there to Harper. Here's Libby on the move. She tries to turn it back inside. Knocked away for a brief moment, but now Virginia is pushing up ahead, and it's going to scoot out of bounds. Right there from the side is Joaquin Cadillo, number 54. This side in here. Carl Hildebrandt is the goalkeeper for. Beg your pardon, Joaquin Cadillo, the 54. Carl Hildebrandt is the goalkeeper for UVA. The rest of the roster for Virginia in numerical order Natalie Holt wearing number one. Tegan Ryan is number two. Maya Maloney wearing number four. Donning number seven is Rachel Choi. Lauren Bradley is 23. For Virginia. You've also got Emily Feaster is 12. Ella Ochave is 14. 
Isabella Lagazzi, 15. Nora Collinsworth, 16. Ashley Kennedy wearing number 17. Taylor Kraft wearing number 19. Elizabeth Hunter wearing number 20. As that rounds out the unit for Virginia. As they're at midfield here. Getting it past Newman up ahead. A couple of Dukes, though, in the pathway as they try to get into the attacking third. And now Virginia, after that whistle, is starting things here. Over to Fieser on the far sideline. Getting it towards the center. Chasing it down. Virginia's going to get to it. Near side. Good stick hit from Collinsworth. And now backing up, trying to get a clean shot. JMU making it hard there. That was going to be booted away, but it comes back on the carom to Lauren Bradley, number 23. And then from the near side post area, chance for Virginia to almost get on the board. And starting to really threaten here on this opening sequence against the Dukes as it'll be 25. Pushed out by Bradley to the far side. Almost four minutes gone by in this opening half. James Madison now with possession. UVA gets it back real quick. Trying to draw a penalty corner. Been able to do so on that sequence. This is the NFHL Spring Tournament Championships presented by Virginia Beach Live the Life. And James Madison to this point after ousting Vermont in the semifinals. Vermont was the four seed. JMU was the top seed. UVA was the three seed. Seven seeded Cal got through. For their opening round matchup with Maryland. Other teams that made the bracket each of the likes of Texas, Liberty, Villanova, George Washington, UNC, Wilmington, West Virginia, Florida, and Pitt. Almost five and a half minutes gone by in this opening half. One gets deflected for a brief moment, but damn, you getting out to it. Chased down by Wilson Ritterbosch. Duke's now with it. There's James Madison with third push. A hard smack up ahead, but it's going to go landing off that black sign. Black, one of our sponsors that make it possible. Pain and Gain is your one-stop shop for all things field hockey, and it's located in Princess Anne 1, Shopping Center in Virginia Beach. They care everything you need on the turf from black sticks, turf shoes, mouth guards, and much more. Try out your stick before you buy it in their synthetic turf area as well. Pain and gain, embrace the pain, enjoy the game. So thanks to Pain and Gain and Black. On the move here, you see the battle between Ritterpush and Rachel Choi for UVA. Steady rainfall still here on this Sunday afternoon in Virginia Beach. Well, midfield, Virginia able to come up with it as JMU tried to squeeze it, but a couple of defenders sandwiching her in with Scully and Snyder. And now JMU's got it into UVA territory with the chance to get some daylight. Double team comes and Virginia takes it right away. They get it to the near side. Collinsworth has been active in this one. Now midfield, turning away from the defense, back to the near side. Here's 
Virginia trying to maneuver around this defense. Oh, and taking the tumble. Virginia player goes down, but here's JMU on the push with Ella Newman. Ella Newman cannot connect on her pass. Going away from it. UVA loses the handle. And now JMU's got it with Harper from the side. As we approach 12 minutes to go in this first half. A wet and rainy one from the training center in Virginia Beach. Through pool play, it was a few teams with unblemished records. Virginia and James Madison were a couple of them. UNC Wilmington started out 4-0. So, too, did Vermont and Liberty, as well as a couple of teams that were 3-0. Virginia Tech was 4-0. California, Pitt, and Florida also opening up this event at 3-0. You see some of the umbrellas out on this wet Sunday afternoon. Temperature presently... Right now in Virginia Beach at 49 degrees. A little on the cooler side after it hit up in the 70s on Saturday. The athletes got to compete in some sun and pretty fairly warm temperatures for much of the day yesterday. Virginia now with possession, and then JMU comes up with it here on the move. Still, he had an opportunity, but UVA swipes it away. Near side here. Cavaliers trying to navigate up the field from the sideline. Elizabeth Hunter went into the other number 20 in Ritter Push, who has been involved in a lot of the action here as we're about halfway gone by this opening half from the RTC in Virginia Beach. Lauren Bradley. Getting some encouragement from your teammates. You might be hearing some of that from the broadcast here as they're cheering her on. JMU, they're trying to work that far sideline. And they run out of room to operate with as it trickles out of bounds. It gives us a chance to tell you about another one of our sponsors that make it possible for us, and that's Gatorade. Stay hydrated with Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Some of you that are familiar with a lot of our action from the training center and Virginia Beach and the Sportsplex and watch some of our podcasts and presentations. We cover all kinds of things from lacrosse and field hockey to soccer and football and so much more. Uh, I've seen some of the commercials with Damian Lillard of the NBA's Milwaukee Bucks who are in playoff action later tonight against the Indiana Pacers. So big thanks to Gatorade. Athletes love their Gatorade. Here's Virginia on the move and there's going to be the game's first goal as it is scored. Nice dump off and UVA is on the board. What a job there. As they score that goal, the Hoos striking first with 9.07 to go. I believe that was Emily Feaster on that goal. Great dump off. And the Cavaliers paying off here just a little bit. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Heck of a transition opportunity. They got it to pay off in a big way. It's the game's first goal. Now James Madison trying to counter right back, but Virginia's defense in position to stymie them. Go, 
from the far side now. Virginia getting into the center there as you see Feaser. That was going to be hit out of play. Like what I've seen so far from Emily Feaster along with Lauren Bradley and Ashley Kennedy. A couple of these Cavaliers really stepping up. You see Kennedy close to your screen now wearing 17. There's JMU coming up with a stop and a chance to get on a run out here. They've got numbers potentially, but Virginia getting right back there. As you see, number 12 cutting her off in Feaster. And that stops their breakout. JMU trying to get the long hit up ahead. Scooting away. Here's Harper. Libby Harper's thinking about scoring here. And getting her stick down to deny is Kennedy. As Kennedy keeps her from getting one on the board. we got our first penalty corner. And it's going to be for James Madison. I believe it'll be Emily Snyder, number 12. We'll be zero in on her to send this one into play. Snyder gets it in. Tapped out by Olivia Smith. Oops. Inside the semicircle. Trying to get one on the board, and Virginia... With Hildebrandt hanging tough inside there to keep JMU from tying this one up at one apiece. We see Natalie Holt running into our picture a moment ago there, number one for UVA. Come on, Virginia now on the near side. They get the feed over to Rachel Choi. JMU coming up with it, though, as Newman's got it again. And an advantage again potentially here for JMU as we've hit under five minutes to go in this opening half. Another one of our sponsors at the Training Center of Virginia Beach. It's been tax season, yeah, in the month of April. People know about taxes, getting them done, getting them filed. And John's Tax Service is a proud community supporter of local youth sports, providing tax preparation and retirement planning services. John's Tax Services and JPM Financial Services have been serving all of Hampton Roads for more than 20 years. We're the best, thanks to you, John's Tax Service. We thank them for their support of local youth sports and activities all across the Commonwealth of Virginia and especially here in Hampton Roads with so many of the activities and events we have here at the Plex. As you see, visit FilmSports.com for all your local sports coverage and again, make sure you keep it locked and loaded to the National Field Hockey League.com website for Continued updates of everything going on with the NFHL. They do a tremendous job, the entire team. Just a great company. We thank them for their access and all the help they provided us throughout the week. As we bring in this broadcast here today, battle for it with three and a half minutes to go, and it looks like Virginia's going to have possession again here as they try to work it back into JMU territory. On the far sideline now, tangled up. You see Isabella Lagazzi for UVA and Emily Morrissey for JMU. And no harm or foul done there. Here's Virginia on the move with Bradley. Bradley has it intercepted. Here comes JMU with Reader. But Virginia again stopping them on the attack. 
And now UVA is pressing forward. They pounce on it with Rachel Choi. It's going to be pooted away by the goalkeeper in Tiafi. That one just drifts away from JMU's Telepi Reader. That one wiggles out of play near the fence with a little more than two minutes to go. The wind picking up on this Sunday in the month of April at the RTC. As we approach halftime, James Madison trying to get that equalizing goal, trailing by one in this NFHL Spring Championship. That has been a very competitive battle thus far. I mentioned earlier you can download the Turning Machine app for updates and you can see the scores and schedule from what all has transpired in the last couple of days here in the 757 area code. The training center and the Hempton Road Soccer Complex where all these games have been taking place the past couple of days. JMU now trying to get out from their own attacking third and create a scoring chance. They have not had but one penalty corner as Virginia has bottled them up and really kept them from having those runouts that have made them successful throughout these past couple of days. But here's a chance as they nudge it into UVA territory with under a minute to go in the first half. However, Virginia's going to track it down. Really well positioned defensively throughout this matchup. Cavaliers in that deep corner as it is. Another tough sequence for them, but Kimmel Rick and a couple other Dukes trying to pounce on them quickly as UVA is trying to play some ball control and milk the clock here to get to halftime with a one nothing lead. And they're almost there. 20 ticks to go until the horn sounds and we reach intermission. Pass is intercepted. But the team gets right back to it. Last hit's going to come from Ritterspock. And we've reached halftime at the Regional Training Center in Virginia Beach. The 2024 NFHL Spring Championships presented by Virginia Beach Live the Life. Streaming on our NFHL YouTube page and all over the web with COVID Sports TV, Facebook, and Instagram. Our score, the University of Virginia won. James Madison nil here as we are at the break. A big-time play from Emily Feaster and getting some help from teammates like Lauren Bradley and Rachel Choi, among others, as they're one half away from claiming the championship. We're going to step aside during this break here from some of our sponsors and come back with the second-half action right here from Virginia Beach. Stay tuned. At CHKD, sports medicine is more than just treating injuries. It's a whole team approach to caring for young athletes. With experienced physicians, surgeons, trainers, and rehab specialists here when kids and teens need them most. Our experts help young athletes prevent injuries too with advanced training and conditioning programs that keep them in the game safely. CHKD Sports Medicine, where kids are more than patients and we're more than a hospital. Pain and Gain, your one-stop shop for all things field hockey. Located in Princess One Shopping Center, Virginia Beach, we carry everything you need on the turf, from black sticks, turf shoes, mouth guards, and much more. Try out your stick before you buy in our synthetic turf area. Pain and gain. Embrace the pain. Enjoy the game. Treat yourself to a visit to the Drip Bar IV Hydration and Vitamin Therapy in Virginia Beach. Boost your immunity, increase your energy, and promote anti-aging with our personalized treatments designed to ensure efficient nutrition absorption to rejuvenate your mind and body. Come see our chic and relaxing day spa for yourself today. We welcome walk-ins and appointments. Our medical professionals will help you achieve your best health and answer all your questions. The Drip Bar at Lansdowne Commons in Virginia Beach. As a banker at Town Bank, we believe that people bank with people, not with banks. 
You're looking for an actual personal relationship. And that's what you get at our bank. You get that person that gets to know you, gets to know your business, is there for you. I think that is what motivates us, what drives us. And the idea that we are trying to serve others and enrich lives, I think is very true. And it's the 2024 NFHL Spring Championships, the 25th annual edition featuring Virginia and James Madison here at the half. UVA with a one nothing lead. Oh, you see Jack Minigudi out there and Joe Brooke among the many viewers and fans out there. We thank you all for tuning in as you're watching all over the web through the NFHL YouTube channel as well as Facebook, Instagram, Cova Sports TV. We're all over the web as this game of field hockey continues to grow by leaps and bounds. So many people to shout out that have helped make this possible from our entire Cova Sports TV production team, such as Nick Senti, Chuck Thornton, Garrett Jackson on camera today. I am Matthew Hatfield. Also want to thank Kristen Frank from the NFHL, Mike Daniels as well, as they have been in a wonderful weekend, even in spite of the rain, the elements trying to get in the way of these athletes, but not doing here, not happening. And also this event being played in memory of Ali Rose Zambino. And if you're not familiar with Ali and, uh, of course, we're doing a nice scholarship in her name. Uh, Allie Rose is a young lady that passed away tragically in June of 2019, just hours before her 24th birthday, doing what she loved, running and staying physically active. She was pursuing a doctoral degree in physical therapy from the University of Delaware and was only months away from graduation at the time of her accident. And to honor Allie's pursuit of excellence in academics and physical fitness, a registered 501c3 scholarship organization has been established to recognize Second-year doctoral physical therapy students at Ali's alma mater's High Point University and the University of Delaware. You see it on our screen there, Ali Rose Zambito. Get active and challenge others. Check out Ali's scholarship for more. And a uh, terrific young lady that these competitors certainly are going to keep in mind. And then you can register active for Ali today. Go to arzsunshinescholarship.org. That is arzsunshinescholarship.org for more. Just a true competitor on and off the playing field. Ellie Rose Zambito, 27, the number at High Point University. And uh, we keep her in mind on this Sunday afternoon from the Regional Training Center where we are underway with our second half action. UVA 1, JMU nil is our score. And changing directions, of course, with these 20-minute halves. JMU now operating from left to right and uva in the orange jerseys with the blue numerals with the black shorts going from right to left on the move here double team comes on for the jmu attackers and that was number four in ella newman who got sandwiched there for a moment Picks away, but in the attacking third, here's JMU. Good hit, but just could not connect on the pass by Lil B. Harper. I tell you what, they've had some pretty solid opportunities throughout, but Virginia just sliding well their feet defensively, getting their sticks in the right spots to cut out some of these windows as they get into scoring range. And more than anything, their transition defense has been on point throughout. Maintaining. Ball possession, good job there by one of the Cavaliers. But the battle of field position, about a minute and a half gone by, almost two minutes. And the second half being won by JMU as they're trying to knock the score up at one. And if you're just joining us and unaware of some of the rules, if we get to a overtime, it's shootout, playoff overtime, best of five, sudden victory. There are no timeouts. So here's UVA. Can they squeeze one over to perhaps number 15 waiting for it in Isabella Lagazza? They're going to go the other direction, though, from the far side as they attack it. Working up the field near midfield before it 
rolls out of play. Jim Ubeck with possession now, as the Dukes have it. Moving it on the hop. Here's Olivia Smith. It was in Newman's possession for a brief moment. Jamie's got it back. Another solid defensive play. It's going to be Ritter push running it down. Wilson Ritter push getting it to the near side, and Lindsey Robinson's got it. Now, can she get away from Natalie Holt and the Cavaliers defenders trying to reclaim possession? Virginia's got it back. Timing on these passes, especially in transition, is going to be so key as we move down to the last 8 to 12 minutes of this matchup. Here's UVA trying to avoid the double team. And running into it for a brief second was Lauren Bradley. Hops out to Joaquin Cadillo. Cadillo hitting the turf. Able to hop back up, though, after that attempt of a shot. Speaking of the turf, since 1965, the AstroTurf brand has been driven by Ford Thinking Ingenuity. Today, AstroTurf continues to improve its system design to deliver playing services with the most realistic, sport-specific performance, longest-lasting durability, and sound player protection. AstroTurf, one of the many sponsors that we have here of sports activities going on at the training center in Virginia Beach and the Sportsplex, which has become the real hub for field hockey events all across the nation and East Coast over the years with so many big-time events that have come through this Hampton Roads area in recent years and it's been a real treat for fans of the sport to see. Beaster was on the move for it, but Jamie's going to get it back. As we near 14 minutes to go in this second half. That lone goal coming for UVA right around the nine-minute mark. I think it was about 9.07 when they were able to get one through. It was a really nifty transition finish there. No penalty corners yet for the Cavaliers, but they have a 1-0 lead on JMU. Cavaliers near the end line. Double team coming in the corner. Can they scoot out of it? Let's see Himmelreich got in the way. There's Virginia on the run now. Elizabeth Hunter on the move. Oh, almost got that feed in there. I think Cadillo was ready to get it and try to get a shot on goal. Looking that near left post side. So we've got a corner now for UVA. First of the afternoon with the one nothing lead as we tick under 13 minutes to play in this matchup. Cavaliers get it in. It's gonna be deflected. Great job by Lindsey Robinson to deflect that from Joaquin Cadillo.
empty empty on that penalty corner for UVA. But JMU looking to create some momentum of their own. Mackenzie Weikowitz. Weikowitz has it taken away as the pesky play of Lauren Bradley continues to pose some problems for JMU. Ella Ochave going to throw it in here with now just 12 minutes to play. There's Fieser. JMU on the run. Here they come. But that one's going to be intercepted on the... Slap by Wankowitz. Harper trying to get it back for JMU. Keep an eye on Natalie Holt running in the middle of your screen here if they can find her slicing towards the net. But JMU able to come up with another takeaway. Calling for it and getting it is Olivia Smith. Now they're going to roll to the middle here. Great look at it potentially for Robinson. Robinson's going to slice it in the middle, and it's going to scoot away into the far corner with 11 minutes to go in our matchup. Hello, Fagazzi saying hello. Thank you for tuning in. We love hearing from some of the fans out there. Wherever you may be tuning in all over the web. And we're streaming today on the NFHL YouTube page. Again, NationalFieldHockeyLeague.com has you covered with all the updates for the spring tournament, Collegiate Club, and everything with the NFHL. You can scan the QR code right there on the website. And have it come to your phone with the Tourney Machine app, and you can see who played who, when they played, and so many great things up there. We're also streaming on Facebook and Instagram, as well as our Cova Sports web channel and Cova Sports YouTube page. And it's going to be tracked down for a moment, but on the run now, Virginia's going to get it away from one of the JMU players in Ritter Push. And here comes Virginia trying to seize the moment. With a little under 10 minutes to go in this matchup. Knowing that they're closing in on a possible one nothing championship victory if this thing holds where it is right now. There's only been two penalty corners in this game. One in the first half by JMU and one in the second half by UVA. Really close to scoring there on that sequence. Going to hop back out for the Cavaliers. Trickled out to Taylor Kraft. Virginia is threatening again here. JMU coming up with it as they swipe it. Swiper, no swiping. Well, they swiped it that time with number 13, Olivia Smith. Eight and a half minutes to play. Dukes navigating the middle portion of the field. It's Wankowitz making a pass. Oh, look at the goalkeeper coming all the way out. To deny that, that's Hildebrandt. Who backs up towards the goal to not let, Ver not let JMU, excuse me, get a real clean look at things. Fans getting into it. You hear some of the chants of let's go, Virginia. Keep fighting, JMU. They're enjoying this battle. Yeah. 
Seven and a half minutes to go. UVA clinging to a one nothing lead in this matchup. JMU working that far sideline, trying to find a window, but UVA closing them down quickly in this matchup. And we now tick towards six and a half minutes to go. You see from Julie Siafi and Kelly Shirer. Let's go, Dukes. Wahoo, wah. Jack Minaguti also saying go, who's. All kinds of fans out there tuning in for this tense matchup. It's going out of the wire here, as expected, with two heavyweights that have been terrific throughout. Under six minutes to go. Virginia would like to get that insurance goal to go up 2 nothing, but JMU is making it mighty hard on them. Good job by UVA there. It's going to bounce out to Lagazzi. Here's Isabella Lagazzi around midfield. Sends it up ahead. They'll lose the handle. Get it right back. Five and a half minutes to go. Here's Bradley. Getting up ahead and slicing it. Away from the net was Lagazzi. Jamie's going to get out to it with Scully. Sydney Scully. Great turnout from the fans out there watching this matchup today from the Regional Training Center in Virginia Beach. And you like, to, you have to really applaud these young ladies when they're competing in the rain, the elements today. A little on the windy side, a little on the chilly side. Not the best of conditions for field hockey, but they're battling tooth and nail here, giving it their all. This JMU outfit not quitting whatsoever. But they want to get possession back on the other side of the midfield stripe but Virginia looking to be methodical here and play some real savvy hockey which they're known for they're going to pull it back out and stretch the field out real wise tactic from them make Jamie cover a lot of ground as they get it over to Taylor Kraft on the near side Kraft hits it up ahead Good feed to the middle. It's going to trickle out to Weikowitz. Now Weikowitz has got it on the move. McKenzie past the midfield line. He's going to thread it into the attacking third. Dukes have it, but then they lose the hop as it's going to be Emily Feaster, who's been everywhere today. What out Isabella Lagazzi, Emily Feaster. They've been everywhere for this Virginia team. You can running into your screen there. Nora Collinsworth was really active early. Three minutes to go. Jamie looking for just a couple more chances to make this one go to OT. Can they capitalize if they get those chances? One Life Fitness is another one of our sponsors that make it possible for us to bring in this broadcast today. One Life, they're here to help you start your new membership today at any one of the eight convenient locations in Hampton Road. Just go online to onelifefitness.com and claim a free trial pass. One Life Fitness. Come 
Working the far sideline. It's UVA again here. Backside. Where the coaches yell backside, but Virginia really doing a good job of maintaining the ball and shifting field position again for it's going to be hard for JMU to mount a comeback here as time is ticking away and UVA trying to follow up what Florida International did last year and win this championship at the NFHL. The 25th annual. Out to Taylor Kraft. Kraft in the center. Almost taken away by Weikowitz. Battle for it. Between Newman and Kraft. And now Jamie's got a chance here with a minute 40 to go. Can they make something happen? Hit by Robinson. Oh, it's out of the reach, though, of the intended target as they tried to get it over to Scully, but that one just a little out of her reach. Really close. A lot of fans for both the Who's and the Dukes tuning in here on the NFHL. YouTube page and all over the web here as we tick towards a minute to go. Does JMU have any magic left in them? It's been a splendid tournament run for them. Under 60 seconds to go, but Virginia's got possession now as Elizabeth Hunter tries to play some keep away. Two Dukes clamp down on her. It's going to head out of play as we hit 40 seconds to go in this matchup. They can sense it, the excitement of celebrating and winning a championship. It's all right there for them. Closing seconds now. Virginia's just about to do it here. That one's going to get intercepted around midfield. Can JMU get something up the field? Doesn't look like they will with time about to run out. And the horn sounds, and the University of Virginia captures the 25th annual NFHL championship from the Regional Training Center in Virginia Beach. A 1-0 shutout, and what a job by Carl Hildebrandt in goalkeep and this UVA outfit to go wire to wire unbeaten at the event. Virginia completes the job of victory here. At the Regional Training Center in Virginia Beach in this 2024 title game brought to you by Virginia Beach Live the Life. We want to also shout out some more sponsors we didn't get a chance to earlier in our broadcast like Soup Eatery as well as CHKD Sports Medicine, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, Dairy Queen, and so many more. The Drip Ball, we mentioned them, AstroTurf, Vault Athletics and Fitness, and our entire team as they go through the handshake line. Good game. Great sportsmanship being exhibited here at the Training Center in Virginia Beach. And we'll stick around for the trophy presentation as they will honor these two teams. The runner-up, Dukes of JMU. No shame for them. They certainly battled their hearts out in UVA, which did a superb job throughout the tourney to finish off the feat of going undefeated. And you see them huddling up and celebrating this. Certainly a joyous moment for those athletes that have competed their hearts out today. Some of the young ladies contributed to the effort for Virginia and just in general, they had a great performance from a variety of players. You went on a list from Holt to Choi and Bradley and Feaster, Lagazzi, Collinsworth, we mentioned Cadillo. Kraft, Hunter, Hildebrandt, you hate to leave anybody out. It certainly were 
influential in their success. And again, our 25th annual NFHL Spring Championship played in the memory of Allie Rose Zambito. We keep her in the forefront of our minds today. I see the great photographer extraordinaire, Dan Trevino. He came ready with his rain gear as he takes just some awesome photos. We have to shout Dan out because he gets athlete photos for so many competitors from high school to college all across for Virginia Preps and Max Preps and us at the Plex for our podcast. And this does an awesome job if you're a fan of field hockey, soccer, lacrosse, football. He really gets you some of the best images. He captures the moment right there with the camera on the field. As UVA puts on the championship hats and they celebrate with the trophy. UVA's got to do some celebrating over the years in a variety of sports. We know the cross and men's basketball. There they are. These young ladies winning the NFHL Spring Championship today. Really excited and pumped for what they accomplished. Certainly a job well done. Told you about these teams pretty much getting through this wire to wire. Not really getting threatened or tested to the point where you felt like they would be denied from this collision course. But coming in to the bracket, James Madison was the number one seed. Virginia was the three seed and Virginia Tech was the two seed. So the who's the three seed. Get it done. That's going to wrap up our broadcast again. We want to thank so many people for making this possible from, of course, the folks with the NFHL. A big kudos to Kristen Frank, the president. Again, check them out on the web at nationalfieldhockeyleague.com. Mike Daniels and our entire Cova Sports TV from our entire Cova Sports TV team from Garrett Jackson doing the camera work in the rain today to Nick Senti and our boss man Chuck Thornton. I am Matthew Haffey. We thank you for watching. Don't forget all these broadcasts archived and available through our Cova Sports TV YouTube channel. And again, you've been watching this presentation on the NFHL Spring Championships presented by Virginia Beach. Live the life on the NFHL YouTube channel as well. We're going to talk to you next time. We thank you all for tuning in. And enjoy the rest of the weekend, everyone, here from the rainy Virginia Beach Regional Training Center. So long. Have a great one. Pain and Gain, your one-stop shop for all things field hockey. Located in Princess One Shopping Center, Virginia Beach, we carry everything you need on the turf, from black sticks, turf shoes, mouth guards, and much more. Try out your stick before you buy in our synthetic turf area. Pain and Gain. Embrace the pain, enjoy the game. At CHKD, sports medicine is more than just treating injuries. It's a whole team approach to caring for young athletes. With experienced physicians, surgeons, trainers, and rehab specialists here when kids and teens need them most. Our experts help young athletes prevent injuries too with advanced training and conditioning programs that keep them in the game safely. CHKD Sports Medicine, where kids are more than patients and we're more than a hospital.